The purpose of this video is to show the creation of a realistic burn wound using commonly accessible materials. Keep in mind the purpose of moulage is to draw attention to the caregiver. To start, let's lay out the components required to create our burn wound. Makeup sponges with rounded edges, spatula, peel off facial mask, Vaseline, red cream makeup, charcoal, syringe, alcohol 99% and a hair dryer. Always wear gloves when doing moulage. Prepare skin by cleaning it with alcohol, 99% is recommended. Spray gauze with alcohol and clean area. Let dry a few seconds. Using the rule of red, apply a base of red makeup by dabbing a rounded makeup sponge onto the skin to create redness to the area. Spray a little alcohol on a second sponge to activate the color and re-dab the area. If needed, you can also dab gently with your fingers. This will give you a two-tone effect. Next, take your spatula and spread a layer of the facial peel mask evenly, making sure the edges are thinned out as much as possible. To shorten drying time, use a blow dryer to dry until mask is set. Ensure mask is completely dried to the touch before moving to the next step. Next, you want to create blisters to the wound. Fill a plastic tip syringe with Vaseline and slide under the mask to build up blisters. Do as many as needed depending on the size of the wound. Using a smaller spatula, lift mask in certain areas such as the outer edges and burn area to show the appearance of second degree burn. The redness will show through, but to add depth to the wound, add a little more red and a little more Vaseline to highlight the burn effect. Finish off by dabbing a little charcoal with a fresh sponge. Start by dabbing a little and add more as needed to achieve the desired effect. Your burn wound is now complete.